everyone welcome back to super grad start youtube channel i am neelam chauhan an alumnus from iim koi course class of 2022 and in today's session of our video series we are trying to answer a very burning and important question that students often come to us with which is ma'am can i start preparing for cat now so to answer that question i think it is first more important to deep dive and understand the very nature and expectations of this exam right so the common admissions test more popularly known as cat is like the gateway to india's most prestigious b schools the iims and even other coveted management institutes however having said that it is also important to note that cat is also considered as one of the most competitive exams in the country if you had been following the previous sessions in this video series you would know by now that is staggering 3.3 lakhs registrations were done for cat this year so you can just imagine how competitive it's out there so questions like ma'am can i start now is it too late to start preparing now ho bhi sakta hai ki nahi ho sakta hai should i take a drop next year ke liye wait karu next attempt ke liye wait karu and so on and so forth so questions like these i am sure must also be bothering you all the time and if that's the case don't worry at all because that is what we are here to address today okay so first things first when we are talking about preparing for an exam like cat in a span of 50 days time is of the essence and the starting point in my preparation journey has to be assessing my current knowledge and getting a clear understanding of what my current situation is for example if i am starting my preparation today mujhe ye janna bahut zaruri hai ki main abhi kitna pani mein hu right so for example you need to understand and know your strengths and your weaknesses you need to know what areas you are good at and what areas probably you are not so good at and trust me the simplest way to do this is to take a mock cat taking a mock cat will not only help you get a clear idea of where do you currently stand but it will also help you understand exam ka pattern exam ke expectations and exam ka syllabus so once you have a comprehensive understanding on the various nuances of the exam and also have a fair bit of idea on where do you currently stand it's now time to make an action plan so while you are making a study plan for yourself it is very important to set clear and achievable targets for the entire time frame of preparation that you have at your hand right it usually helps to start with a bottom up approach while you are planning on how you are going to cover the entire syllabus for this exam so for example uh, you can start with uh, making a list of all the topics that you need to cover under different sections for example let's say i am making down a list that i start with uh, ratio proportion variation and time and distance and etc etc these set of four topics that i am going to cover for qa in week 1 similarly in week 1 in lrdi i am going to cover let's say um, games and tournaments and selections and arrangements similarly make a list of all the activities and action items that you need to complete for your english section section ka preparation and once you have this comprehensive set of list of action items at your disposal you can now try and mark relevant deadlines across the same and trust me whenever you are trying to prepare for any competitive exam for that matter nothing beats a well structured a well made study plan that you can stick to now in case you are wondering on how you can more specifically break down the entire uh, preparation time frame that you have at your hand so that you can make the most out of your time let's have a look at that as well right so to start with whenever you are st uh, just starting your preparation it is very important to get the basics right by that i mean as earlier also i have mentioned please please do take some time out to you know understand the uh, syllabus of the exam to understand the pattern of the exam to give a few mock tests and to uh, actually prepare that comprehensive study plan for yourselves that you can follow over the course of next 45 to 50 days and this is going to immensely help you so once you are done to this done with this we move on to section wise preparation and in section wise preparation what i am going to do is i am going to uh, take some time out maybe take the next 30 days to understand and learn about the different fundamental concepts in each of these three sections so make sure to allocate specific times for the preparation of each of these three sections and the time that you devote to 
to these sections should be tailored to your specific needs for example what i mean by this is let's say uh, a student is coming from an engineering background so he might be very comfortable with maths and qa wala section right however what he might also feel is ke usko thoda zyada time lag raha hai ya thoda zyada effort lag raha hai to improve his vocabulary or reading comprehension right so similarly kis section ko kitna time dena hai should be specifically tailored to your needs and your current situation so once you are done with this section wise preparation it's now time to test your preparedness for the actual test and there is no better way to do this as mentioned earlier than to appear for actual mock tests and this is where mock tests and analysis wala part comes in so over the course of next 10 days you start taking mock tests regularly and also analyzing these tests and uh, i cannot stress this enough but analyzing mock tests is equally important as taking a mock cat because you get to learn from all the mistakes that you make during a test so that you don't end up repeating these same mistakes in the actual cat exam right so once you are also done with mo uh, mock test and you have given enough number of tests and you are uh, pretty confident with uh, your test taking strategy and everything is the time for intensive revision so revision wala part is where we focus on consolidating what we have already learned so far so what i mean by this is during revision wala part that is that will be the last 5 to 7 days of your preparation is where uh, maybe you can do quick reruns of any formula books or cheat sheets that you have created during qa or ldi ka preparation or maybe if you have created any vocab guides during english section ka preparation you can do a rerun of that as well also during these days what you can do is give a few more mock tests to fine tune your strategy for the actual d day exam so now having already discussed ki padhai kaise karni hai cat ki if i were to also give a few more tips and tricks from my end on how you can make the most out of your preparation time that is available to you i would say number 1 would be please please stay focused it's very important and please make sure to minimize and even eliminate any distractions around you at least during the study hours you can do that right and number 2 more importantly would be that when you are preparing for an exam like cat it is not just important to study hard but it's also equally important to study smart by that i mean at this point in your preparation journey you cannot afford to you know go through multiple authors and multiple books and then end up getting very little out of it instead what should what you should try to do is stick to quality content that is exclusively curated for cat and that comprehensively covers the entire syllabus for you and that is going to immensely help you so with that i hope this was useful and i hope this somewhat helped you answer that million dollar question ke if you should start preparing for cat now or in fact if you can even start preparing for cat now and my simple answer to all these questions would be it's never too late and trust me uh, it's not about the number of days it's never about the number of days in fact what this is about is how you plan out these days and with what strategy you begin your preparation with so with that i wish you all the best for your preparations for your exam and do keep tuning into the channel for other such academic and non academic videos and i'll see you next time